two wounds, one of which has healed. We used iodazorb pretty well as the main stay, and it took its time, but it worked. I got a second wound in the middle of March, roughly. I uh, used the same sort of protocol, but it didn't seem to be moving forward as it was. So clinicians suggested we try EO2, and I said, sure, I'm game for that. So I had a piece of equipment uh, sent to me along with the dressings. Uh, I followed the instructions. Uh, took two days to get comfortable with the process. Um, I was able to wear athletic shorts during the time with EO2. Uh, I wore the <coughs> equipment underneath the shorts. It worked very well. The tubing was not an issue after a couple of days and using compression socks to make sure the tubing didn't get uh, snagged anywhere. Uh, changing the dressings was no problem. It was actually quite simple uh, once you had the confidence that it wasn't going to uh, really blow up on you. It took um, just a matter of uh, short minutes <clears throat> to unscrew tubes, put dr take off dressing, put new dressing on, and then rehook it up. The uh, <clears throat> dur During the time period, uh, the wound got smaller and smaller, which was nice. And But during that time, I did have uh, electronic access via text or pictures to the clinician and was able to just discuss it as it was proceeding. So although I was doing all of this at home, it was as if someone was, was with me. Uh, <clears throat> the wound, as I said, got smaller and smaller, and uh, hopefully in the next week or so it will have gone away. Uh, I had uh, good results, and... Uh, I'm very happy with the use of it, and when I look back on it, it really was a very uh, simple process. So uh, I am quite happy with the results.